Hi, I'm Lydia. Hi, I'm Therese. And welcome to Chiara Oscuro. So, you're my first guest. Yes, that's what that's it's called. called. <laughs> yeah, yes. Exciting. Yes. I'm glad to have you on, sister. Thank you, sister. So, we're going to do something special today. Uh, since you are a poet, we're going to... Inspiring. Yeah, aspire. Aspiring. <laughs> You are a published poet, so it's not aspiring. Uh, we're going to look at some art and see if we can write some poetry about it. Ooh, ekphrasis. And what is that exactly? Art commenting on other art. That sounds redundant. It's all over the place. Poets <laughs> write about pieces of art or statues like Ozymandias. Uh, artists draw pictures of people painting or writing or even other things. Yeah. Cool. Learn mm -hmm. something new every day. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to look at a piece of art and then we each have to write a poem. Yes. For five minutes. For five minutes. And we'll have a competition to see who can write the better ones. Okay. Yes. Chocolate. Ooh, yes. Yes. Good plan. Okay. So you can actually pick out the art. I have a couple of possibilities. How many are we doing? Two. Okay. Uh, so I have four or five that you can choose from. Some are wintry, which befits the season being today is Thanksgiving actually, but this probably will not be posted until closer to Christmas. <laughs> All right, so we have, let's start at this end. We have the Floor Scrapers by a man named Gustave Calibo. Cal French always kills me. Let's just say Caillabat. Caillabat, okay. Uh, or John Singer Sargent, Ooh. the Spanish dancer, I think it's called. Yes. Yes, beautiful. Those are not very seasonal. Um, or beautiful snow scene of one of the views of Mount Kilimanjaro. Mm. Yeah. Or, yes. Yes. Or no, that's the same. a duck in the winter. <laughs> I kind of want to start with the floor scrapers. I thought so. I really like that one. Okay. Pens at the ready. By the way, if anyone out there wants to paint, or pa not paint, write poetry along with us, you can pause this video and I'll put the picture up and uh, yeah, do your best. Hopefully it'll be fun. And if you write something good, you can either post it in the comments or share it with me on Instagram. My Instagram name is art underscore history underscore bender. That's a really awkward name. It is. Huh. Okay, well anyway, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. All right, time starts now. Time's up. I need one more word. One more word! Go. Okay. I don't know the word. Facetious. No, a noun. Um, that, that is, no, that's an adjective. Purple. That was an adjective too. Day, Person, place, thing. Night, <laughs> faith, <laughs> joy. Light. We'll go with the lights. <laughs> okay. You first. Curls of varnish and plank under the lengthy sweep of muscle and blade. Separate from the deep, honey new board underneath. As each pass unfurls, cleans the lines and scrapes the light with sweet curls. I don't want to read mine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a run on sentence. But it sounds so pretty. It's a run on sentence. I want to go back and fix it. <laughs> Isn't that kind of the nature of art, though? Going back to, to fix it or run on sentences? Well. <laughs> Good question. No, you always want to go back as an artist. You want to go back and fix it because you're always satisfied. Yeah, you always see what's wrong. 
Which is why we have art. People are always unsatisfied in trying to make things. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> I think it's hopeful. Okay. We want to see something better. <gasps> yep, that's true. Okay. okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sticky, scraping scraps. Long uh, strips of old varnish curl off to leave clean wood. Sticky, sweating men. Or no, sweaty, sticky men. Curved in longer aching arcs. I repeated the word. Curved in longer aching it's arcs. Okay. Make new the old. Pretty. Oh, thanks. Good job. Thanks. I think you won the chocolate, though. Okay. Unless you guys want to vote, tell us who should win. <laughs> All right. One more. One more. Let's go. Which one do you want to do? Do a Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Time's up. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. And I made a mistake. It's not Kilimanjaro. Well, okay. Okay. Go first. okay. Fuji in the snow seems closer than before. Could I scale you now? Could I touch your ragged peak? Just beyond my fingertips, you wait for the bulb to come. Shall we go into the crisp, clear cold? Or shall we stay and only look as the snow melts and the mountain recedes? Ooh, I like it. Oh, thank you. Nice. Does it count as poetry? Sure. Okay. What is poetry? I don't know. Oh. Okay. What do you got? Horizon bands the sky as the distant mountains and birds thrust through the blue and glide across the powdered firs. And those watching leap, take heart, spill tea and dignity to point out the sweep and weightless departure from land. Rhythm is off. But I think there's an idea there. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. Okay. <laughs> Art is so much easier than poetry. <laughs> All right, now you had a challenge for me too. We're gonna do it the opposite way. I'll give you a poem. Okay. And then we draw a picture. We might need more than five minutes because I'm terrible at art. I'm terrible at fast art. Mine is <laughs> gonna give be me seven stick hours. <laughs> That'd be good. Stick, okay. Yeah, we can do stick figures. I stick, like stick figures. figures. Okay. Okay. Again, draw along with us if you want to. Show me your poem. The poem is In the Bleak Midwinter Ooh. by Christina Rossetti. I'm sure you've heard it as a song. Ah. Yes. Yeah. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long ago. Our God in heaven cannot hold him, nor earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall flee away when he comes to reign. In the bleak midwinter, a stable place sufficed. The Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Enough for him whom cherubim worship night and day, breast full of milk and a manger of hay. Enough for him whom angels fall before, the ox and axe and camel which adore. Angels and archangels may have gathered there, cherubim and seraphim thronged the air, but his mother only in her maiden bliss worshipped the beloved with a kiss. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what can I give him? Give him my heart. I love that song so much. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite Christmas songs. Excellent. I didn't know until I looked at the poem that it had the last three verses. Really? Which I really love. I've never heard them sung. Yeah, it's kind of a long song when you sing all the verses. It is. Yeah. And the, the music is very slow but gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I can find it for a theme song. 
Okay. Okay. So, do you want to? You take the Rockwell. I'll take the Dragon Slayer. Okay. on my book. But it's so little. <laughs> That's kind of the point. <laughs> it restricts you. Okay. <gasps> All right. How, how much time should we have? Ten, Ten minutes? Mm -hmm. 38 hours. Okay. Let's do it. Ten minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. <gasps> no, it's gonna be glorious in its badness. Okay. It'll be badly glorious. Gloriously bad? bad okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Yeah, because I can't draw people, so I stuck to drawing nothing. <coughs> you draw Ooh, tree. People. And an orchid in the sky? They're supposed to be angels, terrible, because they have four sets of... Two, two sets of wings, which means four wings. And Madeline Le Angle, they're dragons. That would have been cool, too. Yeah. 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 No, I stuck to trying to draw just bleak midwinter. That works. And a, a I like, random I like, roof with light coming out. I like the shiny stable. Yes, it's a shiny <laughs> stable. And I tried yeah. to get snow on that sad, weird tree, bending in the wind that's moaning. Oh, I see. No, I like it. You can see the snow. <laughs> You're very kind. It just needs a little bit of an outline. Yeah, but you can't do that with that teeny tiny pencil. We did good for... Ten minutes and bad utensils. Nice. Yes. Awesome. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> you write the poetry, I'll do the pictures. <laughs> okay, deal. <gasps> Sounds good. Alright. Thank you, and I'd love to see what you all have to say. Say goodbye, Tracy. Goodbye, Tracy. Goodbye. <laughs>